Chris Walker, otherwise known as the Strong Fat, was born in the year 1979. He was surprisingly only 34 years old during the events of the first Outlast game and measured nearly 7 feet tall. Perhaps one of the most dehumanizing feature of this monstrous figure, besides his build, are the appearance of his eyes. They seem to have contracted cataracts or an extra coat of white layer as a result of all the experiments performed on Chris. Speaking of eyes, he's also gruesomely formed a third eye on his forehead in order to achieve a truer vision of reality. Chris also purposefully removed his lips and nose due to extreme anxiety. Where does all this self-mutilation and state of mind come from? Before his arrival to the mental asylum, Chris served in the military police and was stationed in Afghanistan. It's common knowledge nowadays that veterans who have served in the military suffer from PTSD and many anxiety-inducing disorders. During a patient status report on Chris Walker, his arms were restrained from continued self-mutilation. As a child, Chris had a fascination with Tautura lizards and their unique third eye, and thus he carved one on himself using his bare hands. His morale is fixated on a manic exaggeration of security protocol. In other words, Chris believes military law is a priority outside of military boundaries, and thus he has kept this insane agenda in the real world. This sort of mentality leads Chris to believe that the world is tainted with non-contributors to the agenda itself and has no regrets in killing people in horrific ways. He keeps a collection of his victims in the library within the asylum. Chris Walker chases a player with little to no effort and will spot their hiding location and there's no real use trying to move around him because his body almost blocks the entire room. I like to think that Chris is somewhat of a bully in the sense that he's nearly inescapable and nearly invincible, so it gave me a great pleasure seeing him die by the hands of an actually inescapable force known as the Wall Rider, a paranormal entity. In conclusion, Chris Walker is the face of Outlast 1 because of, well, his face. I'd like to think of Chris Walker as not only a scary antagonist, but in terms of the story, the antagonist that wasn't bound by the Murkoff Corporation completely and followed his own rules. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts. Outlast 2 is almost here, so be sure to stick around for more Outlast content as well as other horror games. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and as always, stay single.